Citizens of Protection Kansas are really getting protection. The tots are the first to face the sock vaccine needle. This miss isn't quite sure about the whole thing, but, well, it really wasn't so bad. Next. Junior is blissful, but he gets the idea. Listen. Double trouble, but the twins don't seem to mind. Don't even grind their teeth. Some get a boot out of it. Witness this Moffat, who has the makings of a great actress. Gideon Bison of Oklahoma and his dad, a medicine man, are putting the Indian sign on polio as they join the protection drive. In the cabinet room of the White House, the president looks on as Thomas S. Gates, Jr. is sworn in as Secretary of the Navy, the latest top-level personnel shift in the Pentagon. Glad to have you aboard, says Ike, as his new secretary poses with a proud family. Within the week, Air Force Secretary Quarles moves up to the number two Defense Department post, replaced by James H. Douglas. And Admiral Arthur W. Radford was replaced as Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff by Air Force Chief Nathan Farragut Twining. First airman to hold the nation's top military post, Twining's appointment follows the policy of rotating the job among the services. No major change in planning or policy is anticipated. Other events in the capital included the arrival at National Airport of Lieutenant General Octavio Maza, Chief of the General Staff of Brazil. Full military honors are extended General Maza, who will carry on staff consultations with United States defense planners during his visit. President Eisenhower was cited for his distinguished contributions to inter-American solidarity by the Pan-American Society of the United States. Former Ambassador Sproul Braden, president of the Society, presented the Achievement Medal. The Pan-American Society has similarly honored each president of the United States since Herbert Hoover in furtherance of the good neighbor policy. A bouquet of Easter lilies for the first...